Christian and Rasmus checking in from Sydney, Australia. Crikey, mate. Crikey, mate. In Australia. Well, I literally landed an hour ago. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, that was yeah. the Crocodile story I was learning in English. Okay. okay, I can't keep that up very long. You're the accent guy. You're good at accents. I need to hear it, then I can I'm repeat not. it. That's but I true. can't just say I it. suck at accents. You're okay. great at it. Okay, okay. Well, why are we here? Right. Why are we here? We're here because... We just got the email. We, we just got, got the email. email that says... Our income report for ACX for November. Yep. So, live reaction. I don't know what it's going to say. Should we take some guesses so, first? Yeah, we take some guesses. Okay. So, this was... Um, actually, I don't really want to take guesses. Let's I'll, just throw it out there. Just throw it out there? So, so that we don't set up ex any expectations or anything. Okay. All I want to say is this is the November 2018 uh, income statement. And October 2018 was obviously the most recent one, which was $192. So that's the jump. I think I have like, like proof of eating all kinds of Oreos. Just before, I mean brownies yeah. and shit. Anyway, um, also, Octo I, October was 192. Let's see what November was. Yeah. I, I just want to acknowledge that I shaved my face. Just like, right. like oh, elephant in the room. Yeah, I know I look very different. Mm -hmm. Is what it is. It's I had to is. do it because I, I groom and it gets crooked. So mm -hmm. every like six months I have to do it. Mm -hmm. But I want beard is coming back. Full strength, as Good. you know. Good. Shit like that. Okay. Right, let's bring it up. Live reaction. We okay. just got the email. Let's open it up. Okay. So let's see how big of a I jump have we in my made mind in November. That I'd be happy with if we get this. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Let's see what it is. Open it up. Let's see. Woo! Oh! oh. Can we look oh. at that? Can you see it? Uh, oh. Is it focusing? Let, let, me, check let me make sure. Let me make sure. There, now you can see. Boom, 3.7. 3,700 dollars. In my mind, I said 3.3 would be amazing. And I was like, yeah. so wow, wow, that's okay. fucking awesome. Okay, so let's talk about it after, not right now. Yeah. But I want to put it on the screen. We're going to talk, talk about all that after. So, I do want to say one thing, though. That I, I, I also have one thing I want to what, end What on. this tells me is that my prediction for how much we would make is very accurate. Mm -hmm. And that tells me that we're still getting paid for the ACX codes. Hmm. Quite potentially, yeah, yeah. I think that's the case. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. So, October one hundred ninety-two dollars. November we made over Boy. a three thousand five hundred dollar jump, and December, De December is, is even like crazier. This. It's like this. December is even crazier. January ten k. So oh, this January ten k. <laughs> Stop. What? Uh, I mean, we could try. Yeah, we could so. try. Our goal has been March. Yeah, right? March at the latest. Hit ten k in March. Uh, and things are looking pretty good. So that's what it is. Live reaction, 3.7K. Are you crazy? This is amazing. Fuck yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right, now back in Bali, just like that. Yeah, we were in we're Australia. Australia. I was in Australia for 10 days. We were there for like five days. That's the second time of our lives we've ever been apart more than like one day. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting. Some people think that's weird. To me, it's just my life. That's yes, it is. Average First, I want to show, yes, we're back in Bali. Fuck, it feels so good. Show like, the surroundings real quick. Like, I'll, Reunited I'll, with the unicorns. Yes. Yes. Like, I want to say, this is the first place. Like, when I came home, I was like, go back to the spot. What? When I came home, I was like, fuck, I feel like I'm coming back home. Mm -hmm. Like, back on my scooter, like, oh. Oh, back in my room, like this is my home, like yeah. And it's crazy. Other places have not really felt like that. Yeah, it's true. Like, Bali is different. Bali is different. So yeah, we were in Australia for Christmas and New Year's. I was there to also visit the the bitty, the bitty, the bird, the bird, the, the missus, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, a lot of people don't know. Yes, I'm wifed up. I have a husband. I'm a wife. Uh, just what are you <laughs> talking about now? You're a husband. You have a wife. And I just want to say that uh, you'll see her in videos coming up. So that's interesting. Because we're going to start incorporating our videos more into our personal lives. Yeah. Which is fun. Yeah. But now, actually, into the video. This is Road to 10K Part 3. Part 3. Part three, part three, part three, part three, part three let's go. Let's go. My hair is getting really long. I should wear this. All right. He's not faking it. He doesn't have a broken hand, actually. He's a fag. No one, no one doesn't think. But, but it's, No one thinks anyway. you're faking it. So yeah, let's. So we, you guys saw how much we made, three thousand seven hundred. That was a live reaction of uh, seeing how much we made. So let's talk all about that. Can I recap a little bit? Yeah. How we all started. Uh huh. So if this is the first time you've ever seen our Road to Ten K series, this is a series where we started a brand new ACX audiobook 
publishing account slash business and we're taking it from literally zero with nothing and bringing up to ten thousand dollars a month in income passive income once you start working on it passive income as fast as possible so i have my own personal acx account slash business where i make fuckloads of passive income uh, i've made well over ten thousand dollars per month yeah so we started a new one to show that it was not a one-hit wonder and it's re replicable with so everything we know. Zero, zero. We in August, nothing. we made our first book order. Yeah, yeah. So August. August, we made our first book order. Uh, September, we made zero dollars because it takes about six to eight weeks, even more a lot of the time, to go from having no audiobook to having it out on the market and making sales. So, made our first book order in August. September, zero monies. Uh, October, we saw our first royalties, which was $192. Then November, which is what you just saw, $3,700. How fast did that fucking grow? So goddamn fast. Holy fuck. Oh, and December. December. Uh, Rasmus, tell, I, tell I them really about December. To, I want to tell them, tell but about I also want to keep them guessing. Okay, oh, yeah. Should I say it? Yeah, uh, let's just talk about it. Okay, well, well we literally... Doubled more October. than more than doubled. November. We doubled November and December. Doubled the sales, doubled the bounties. So we basically doubled royalties at least. So that brings us from zero to one ninety uh, yeah. to three thousand seven hundred to over seven thousand, nearly eight thousand. This is about like that. This is about November. Yeah. yeah so November, 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 November. Yeah. Part four will be coming next month. We'll, we'll yeah. talk all about that. How many audiobooks do we have out now on the new account? Uh, I believe it's either fi fi 15, 15, 15 or 17. Yeah, 15 or 17, and how many do we have in the pipeline? Okay, wait, okay, so 15 or 17 out producing sales. Yeah. Then we have that's not that many. nine that are in review. Nine in review. Nine in review, nine that will be upcoming. Okay. Seven that are in production, being narrated right Ooh, now. And then, and then 22. 22. That uh, like we're searching for narrators. Okay. Still. So what I'm realizing right now, live on cam, mm -hmm. that we're fucking slacking. No, we're not slacking. Our manager, come on. This is already in production, bruh. So yeah, we don't actually run the account. We have a manager who runs the entire account. So we've kind of taught him, um, and yeah, he runs shit by us, and then we do a, we go along. We say we yes, think, good, not good enough. Yeah. Need a better title cover. Boom, we can make a whole whatever. video about it, but one, he's fucking up a lot frustrating so we should actually be making way more but yeah it's part of the process and um, yeah that's what that is so the last thing I want to cover is basically what is our plan with our publishing business and like what are we gonna do moving forward so how do we make much more money going forward right now honestly truthfully looking at the numbers we're doing exactly what we should be doing and yeah. supposed to be doing yeah like we just need to continue doing exactly this and come out with more books more books because we're trying to scale this shit. I, we, we set our goal for 2019, 30K in one month is what mm -hmm. we want to hit at sometime Q4 2019. Mm -hmm. $30,000 in one month. Mm -hmm. At this pace, get there in 10 it's months. fucking doable. It's doable. So yeah, things are great so far. The numbers are really good. We're like scaling it ridiculously fast, faster than I've ever seen anyone do before. But we could still be making a lot more. I know, we and could. And that has nothing to do with like, we haven't done it right so far. It, a lot of it has to do with like actually getting the shit done and it yeah. has to do with one it's just speed of doing speed it. of implementation speed of getting things done uh and then also not fucking making massive fuck ups we ordered 60 books way. in august and we have like what have we say 17 out that that's, that's not ridiculous. acceptable that's no that's not acceptable there honestly should be 60 out they should all be out yeah it should be. It's so been three months. We have to continue doing what we're doing. Four months. Fix that sorry, part. Four like, months. Make it move faster as well. Yeah. And then we are going to, we have like books that were recently ordered and are being written and we actually just got them back. But shit, we just need to order more. More books. We more just books, got a more book books. order back yesterday, which is six 30,000 word books. Those in itself are going to create like $5,000 a month of passive income. Like this audiobook shit is just insane. Yeah. The next order we're going to make soon, maybe this week. I want to take the books that for us right now are performing the very best mm -hmm. and just order like 10 variations of those basically if it's it, fucking working so why would i not just continue making those kinds of books we have a few of the audiobooks that are going absolutely nuts yeah exactly take those and make like 10 more of them like oh no but then uh it's all similar type of content i'm not here to like make different content i'm not here to just touch every niche i'm here to make the most money so we know what works ridiculously well. But 
I'll just replicate that. Here's also something I want to say with that. Like, okay, you have one book to do really well. Don't make, like, a fucking carbon copy of it. No. Like, you don't want it for them to choose no. this one or that one, okay? There's now this new one. Now we'll buy this one instead. No. Sales on this one will decrease. Twist a little bit. You want to make a variation of it so that people will see this and like, oh, okay, this one is a compliment to this book. Let me buy this one as well. Mm -hmm. So now you're getting both sales. Now both books are still selling. Yeah. So like variations of those fucking best-selling books is what we're doing. And then I yeah. also want to. So, but the same keyword. I also want to, same keyword. Same keyword. It's like but a, twist a very to similar it. book. Yeah. For example, I'll give an example. Keto Beginner's Guide. Keto Beginner's Guide is doing so well. Let me make more keto books. Let's make a keto meal plan book. Okay, now someone can buy the beginner's guide and the meal plan book. Mm -hmm. That's just an example. Just and then keto 30 day diet challenge. Some random. You can have like 10 that. keto books that you can literally have one person that will buy maybe six of those books mm -hmm. instead yeah. of just one. Yeah. And then another book order we want to make is a fiction book order. Can't tell you the specifics or the details. I'll leave it at that. Very high hopes for that. And mm -hmm. I know, well, have very high hopes. We've done it before. I know it's gonna pop off as well. So, so bottom line is this We know what we need to do, we just need to do it. Let me sum it up real quick. We have 17 audiobooks out. We have, four, if my math is right, 45 more that need Bro. to come out. No, 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 from the first order. From the first, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. From the second order sense. The right? second order, order is only six. Yeah. But that's plus three bundles, bundles so nine. nine. So point is, this first book order is gonna get us well over the 10K mark by March at the latest is the goal, March at the l absolute latest. But we're not stopping there. We're gonna mm. keep on pumping out content. Cause like you said, we want 20, we want 30. I wanna do some shit no one's ever seen. I'm trying to break records. Exactly. I'm trying to become like untouchable. Like, oh, how the fuck yep. can they do that? Yep. So that's the goal. And that's basically that's basically what it is. Yeah. Make some, a lot, a lot of nonfiction orders, make a big fiction order. Maybe we could talk more about those things. I mean, okay. nonfiction we is already still just the, we non already is still the fucking absolutely absolutely the zone because we know this shit works. I want to end on a piece of advice that you can learn from. Okay, yeah. so we have our audiobook booster program. Uh, if you're interested, there's no link in the description. You leave a comment if you want to learn more about it. You have to be. In it's the a group coaching place. program to grow the audiobook business. Uh, and then we have a Discord chat with a big group chat, and. Uh, also, we do live streams and people, what we've noticed, we're like 15 people. What I've noticed is these people, these are the really, really serious students that we have. They're in the course, they do co coaching, and they just really want to get to tank as fast as possible. And the thing is, I've noticed a lot of them, they want, they don't want to like follow the shit that we've said, which has been long nonfiction stories because Not they're stories, asking books, books, sorry. They're asking questions about fiction. They're asking questions about children's books they're asking questions about all of these fucking weird things and it's just like no 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 like you got the wrong idea just the more you dabble around it's not better it's not like oh i'll make 3k in children's books i'll make 3k 3k in fiction all this shit like that's not better that's not better if you just stick to one don't go wide go deep okay and 30k nonfiction. Boom. yeah 30k no don't that's it exactly just work on that and like we're at a point don't. where we're, we're experimenting with these because like maybe they'll work better. We, we don't know until we try, yeah. but we know 30K nonfiction audiobooks mm -hmm. fucking work. So here's the big one. Uh, so just that's, what, that's what we're focusing 90% on still ourselves. A lot of our students, instead of going we? into long 30K nonfiction audiobooks that are proven to make so much money, they want to go into fiction slash like romance, erotic or whatever, and children's books. Like, no, don't go into those. Like, stop. It's just, it's, it's the, um, uh, Golden theory, come on. Golden, golden shiny goose, objects, golden shiny, shiny, shiny objects, shiny objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shiny objects. Yeah, um, but it's not even like there was someone out there that said I'm killing it with these. No, well, yeah, I know there's no one it's saying just, that. it's just the potential. No, it's what just, if? They're, they're just curious. Oh, what if? Like, no one gives a fuck about the what if. Here's yes if. Don't yeah, do the thing yes that if no one's talking about. You think you, be, you think you'd be the one and yeah, only man. person to like discover yeah. this new oh, thing? Oh, I want to be the do what works. I want to be the person who exposed children's books as being highly profitable. Like, fuck stop i want you to get results you want you to get results so just get the results uh let's just plug some st stuff in the description we have a bunch of resources in our description first link is going to be our free audiobook mini course <laughs> fucking join that if you have not yet we have our full academy which oh man so what i'm just realizing more and more i'm not going to rent too much is just the value of this thing because it's changing people in its lives prodigiously. What we're doing, we're showing how fast you could build a life-changing business like that from zero. It's insane. People don't realize how close 
this shit is from them. Like, Last thing, we have a few more resources in the description. An AMS ads course about AMS ads, which are huge. We, we're promoting these things because we realize how big they are in growing your publishing business. Outside of iBooks as well. We, oh yeah. Fuck, we haven't even mentioned how much money we made for the eBooks and paperback. Shit. Shit, I forgot. Shit. But, uh, it was, like computer it was, real quick. It was Let's on the computer real quick. So now we're inside KDP. Just gonna look really quickly uh, on how much we made in November from that. So here it is. We're losing so much money on this by not Give doing me a fuck. it. And that's something I want to add to the things that we need to work on. Like, let me do the last thing. Like, publishing is like a side thought for us right now. Yeah. A side business. Like, I do not spend a lot of time on this. Uh huh. So, Which is insane. Yeah. Just because we have our manager, we can do it without yeah. him. If this was our everything, then These we'd, would then we'd be focusing mind. on audiobooks, paperback, and ebook, and it would probably be a 20k already. Uh -huh. But that's, this is not the main thing. Okay. The main thing is something else. So you see the dashboard here? I added it all up in here. So $665.69 is what we made in November from that. Subtracted the ad spend, $70, 20 that's $9 in total. Clearly, we're just basically not running AMS ads. Yeah. And it's because, we're like you said, to. we're focusing on other things. Um, um, it really just happened without me noticing it. And our publishing manager is supposed to be running AMS ads. Yeah. So he's in the process of learning it. He's going through Marco's course. <coughs> Link description to Marco's course. He's, he's also learning how to write book descriptions. <coughs> Link description for all these course. So yeah, we need to run way more AMS ads. Anyway, subtract the ad spend, $575 profit. Add that to the audiobook income. Academy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> link in description for that yeah. too. Uh, so in total, we made four thousand three hundred three dollars and fifty three cents in profit in November from our joint publishing business. Yeah. So I just want to stress again. Bottom line, reason why there are so many things that we're not doing in our publishing business. There's tons of things we're just sucking at, mm -hmm. like uh, and we're getting the audiobooks out there, running AMS ads making any money from ebooks and paraback mm -hmm. simply because this is just like a side gig we're focused on bigger things but this is we, we still plan on growing this a lot but thank god for our manager so i just want to say we could be doing much better we yeah could be doing much better definitely could which be doing just a lot shows better. you how great audiobooks and publishing in general is mm -hmm. uh so yeah that is episode three of the road to 10 k Comment, like, subscribe, join the Ugly Income Academy okay. if you want to do this sort of shit yourself and live out here. You can't really see it. Just let's end the video. See you in the next video.